Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. Now in this brief WordPress tutorial, I'm gonna share how you can simply edit and customize the WordPress post widget section so that you can automatically share important information on each of your posts, like capturing subscribers with a form, linking other posts, and even selling products through the post widget section. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this WordPress tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and dive into the back end of your WordPress website. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on the front end of my WordPress website, and this is a recent post that I've edited. Now, if I navigate back up to the top and over on the right hand side, you can see that I have a post sidebar widget that I've customized. You can see I have recent posts down here. I have a disclosure about affiliate links that I use on my website, and I also have a product that I created and that I sell through this sidebar. If I navigate down further, I have recent comments again I have this product again and then I also have categories now this sidebar widget displays the same on each of my different posts throughout my website so think about the type of information that you want to add on your sidebar that displays on each of your post pages Okay, so how can you add, remove, and customize this post sidebar widget? Well, what I'm gonna do first is show you a default post sidebar widget that displays when you first create a WordPress website. So this is before we've made any changes. Okay, so let's jump over to this new WordPress site and post. Okay, so here I am on a new post that I recently created on a new WordPress website. Now over on the right hand side, you can see that we have this post sidebar widget. This is how it displays by default using the theme that we're currently using. So if you've recently created a WordPress website and you have a default sidebar widget over on the right hand side, then it will look something like this, but depending on your theme, it might look slightly different. And as you can see, it doesn't look very attractive by default, so let's go ahead and and customize this widget. First, what I'm gonna do is head to the back end of this post. Then if we navigate over to the right hand side of this post and navigate down to the bottom, you can see that we have a post settings section. This is where we can choose to remove the sidebar, we can add a left sidebar, or we can add a right sidebar. By default, we have a right sidebar. However, you have the option to completely remove this widget sidebar, or you can add the widget sidebar to the left hand side. It's best practice to have the sidebar on the right hand side. Okay, then what we're gonna do is navigate back over to our dashboard and to customize this widget, simply navigate down to appearances and locate widgets. And this is where we can make changes to our sidebar. As you can see, we have the search section up here. We have recent posts, recent comments, archives, and categories. Now I don't need archives, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this by navigating up to these three dots and then clicking remove archives. And then I'm going to remove this header. Now in terms of the sidebar real estate, I'm happy with the search bar up here. I'm also happy with recent posts because website visitors can easily navigate between different posts, especially the new posts that I've recently created. And it's also important to have categories because that's gonna help website visitors jump between the different categories that they're interested in. Now I'm gonna change the heading size from heading two to heading three. I'm gonna do the same with this heading, heading three and recent posts. We're gonna change this to heading three. Now, if I navigate up to add label, I'm gonna add a label for this search option here and type in search. Again, I'm going to change this and I can have a label here or I can choose to remove that label. I'm actually going to remove that label for now and instead add an optional placeholder in here and then type in search for and I'm happy with that and I'm gonna navigate up to update to update my changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview what this looks like on my post. And as you can see, if we navigate over to the right hand sidebar, you can see that recent posts, recent comments and categories are now smaller text and we have a placeholder within this search option, search for. So those are the simple changes I just made. Now let's navigate back to the widget section and make some more changes. 
Now you can also change the size of each of these text elements by navigating over to typography and changing the size to small, medium, large, and extra large. Okay, so let's navigate down to add another section to our sidebar. And these are the different blocks that we can add. We can add some text by adding a paragraph block. We can add a heading, list, images, gallery, and quote. And we can also browse all other options. We can add a table of contents, a table, code as well if we want to embed a product let's say or embed a form to capture subscribers and we have these other options down here i'm going to go ahead and add an image and then navigate down and upload an image and i'm going to add this image here and then click on open and i'm happy with that i can also make the image smaller if i like and then over on the right hand side i can make additional changes for example, I can leave the image as default, rounded edges. I can add alt text, change the image size, and then image dimensions down here. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a link. So this image here, if a website visitor clicks on this image, that's gonna take them to this Go Digital Now ebook product where they can purchase this ebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the URL that will take the website visitor to this product. Okay, so I've pasted in this product link. Now I'm gonna navigate over to this dropdown and then click on open a new tab. So if a website visitor clicks on this image, that's gonna open up the product page in a new tab. I'm gonna go ahead and click on apply and then click over here. And then I'm gonna click on this image again and make sure that I have an alt text in here and then click on update. Now, what I can also do is customize this sidebar from the front end. To do that, simply navigate over to customize then click on widgets and then locate sidebar. And then what I wanna do is navigate over to blog and then locate this blog post. And if I navigate down to my sidebar, you can see I have the image in here that I added just before. Then if we navigate over to the left hand sidebar, you can see we can now customize this widget from the left hand side with a visual interface so we can see what we're doing. Again, I can navigate down and I can add another widget I'm gonna add a paragraph and then navigate down and add my affiliate notification in here. And I'm happy with that. Now I have a little disclosure down here. Now what I can also do is navigate down and click on add and click on browse all. And I want to add a separator. And as you can see, if we navigate down here, I now have a separator. And what I wanna do is add the separator between each of these different elements to make this sidebar look a lot more organized. To do that, I'm gonna navigate over here and then click these three dots and then click on duplicate. Then I'm gonna move this up and then up and that's gonna add the separator in here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click on these three dots and click on duplicate and then come down and click on the separator up here. Then click on this separator and move it up. I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to duplicate again and then move that separator up and up again and I'm happy with that. And I wanna add one more separator up here by clicking on the separator, duplicating and then moving that up above recent posts. And as you can see, that makes my right hand sidebar look a lot more presentable. Now, because I don't have any recent comments, I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete this element. And then deleting this, remove latest comments, and then remove this. And I'm happy with that. Now, if we navigate over to the right hand side, I now have a search bar, recent posts, categories, my product here, and then a disclosure. And I have these separators in between each of these different elements. Once you've made any changes, simply go ahead and click on publish. Okay, so let's see how this published post appears with the newly customized right-hand sidebar. And as you can see, our right-hand sidebar now looks a lot more attractive and responsive on our different posts. And just like that, you now know how to customize your WordPress post sidebar widget. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief WordPress tutorial helping you customize the post widget section. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.